everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from Fort Morgan, Alabama. And I've taken the Shibby Show on the road, always representing. Got to do the Fast Track class last night from the house where we're staying. My friend Jan Hare has invited me to come down here and be at the beach with her and um, Cheryl Bannister, another Shibboleth member. I'm excited to be down here just at the beach enjoying myself. So you can do Shibboleth wherever you go. I am getting to do the Shibby Show this morning from Fort Morgan, Alabama, the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the Gulf of Mexico is my absolute favorite beach in the U.S. that I've been to, okay? I don't know about other ones I haven't been to. And, but today, there's seaweed. So, we're gonna have to check that out in a second. Um, so when you hop on here this morning, please say, good morning, where you're watching from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. Can y'all hear me? So you can hear me a little bit better. Okay, maybe that helps. Hey, Charlene from Michigan, having a perfect day. Yes, Polly, wow, I'm so excited to be down here. Hey, Michelle, good morning, glad that you are here. We're gonna have a great day here. I have brought my stretch a minute because you can stretch. I've brought my stretch a minute with me because you can stretch from wherever you are. I'm gonna do stretches and all kinds of stuff. And today, let's say good morning. I think I said good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Tracy, having a perfect day. Come on, Charlene, come on, get on an airplane and fly on down here. Hey, Julie, Julie from Indiana, having a perfect day. And it should be back now. Tracy, let me know if that video is back now. Hey, good morning, Diane. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I'm glad you can hear me. I, can you hear me better now that I put these things in? That's a good test for me to know. Hey, Ron from Lilburn. Oh, and Diane, thank you for sharing. Y'all, that share button is in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. Show everybody that Shibola can be done from wherever they are. Whenever I go someplace fun, I call it hashtag Shibola Adventure. Uh, good morning, Tracy Nichols from Austell, having a perfect and blessed day. Polly, what you might have to do is tap out of the video and come back in. Sometimes it does that. Thank you, Tracy. And Amy's from Ohio, having an IMF day. Alicia from Fort Oglethorpe on the Lean Into Summer Challenge, doing an IMF day. Michelle Harper, IMF day, Carrollton, Georgia. And Tracy, awesome. What Tracy went walking at Logan Park in Ackworth yesterday. Hey, Jerry, Jerry from Cedartown, having a holiday for my birthday. Happy birthday, Jerry. That's awesome. Julie and I are coming up there to be with uh, Peeps from Cedartown and Allison Edwards. We're looking forward to that. Hopefully, I'll get to meet you there. Hey, Michelle. Okay, awesome, Michelle. I'm glad to know that. Cool. And Donna from Buckhannon, Georgia, having a perfect day. Wendy, IMF Day in Chattanooga. Cheryl, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I'm glad to know that. Okay. And I brought them down here. It's just so many things to remember. I forgot to put them in until the video quit. And then I thought, oh, maybe I should also put my earbuds in. And then Sandy, soggy Bechtelsville, Pennsylvania. We had a lot of sogginess driving down here yesterday. Um, having a perfect day. Great job, Sandy. And Sharon from Hickson, Tennessee. That's awesome. Good. Okay. So today, this morning, I've already gotten up. I've made myself some hot tea. I sweetened it with stevia and monk fruit because I like a little sweetness, okay? And then I had one of these this morning. Now, cereal, most of the time you don't eat cereal alone, but this is a cereal that's okay to eat alone. This is the Advanced Health Systems Cinnamon Crisp Cereal. It is so delicious. So I already had one of those when I took my vitamins earlier. Normally, I eat my vitamins and my food at the same time, but I... Uh, didn't want the whole thing at that time, so I had half, and I'm about to eat the other half when I get off of here, because two of these makes a meal replacement. So this is easy travel food. Easy, super easy. So you can do Shibboleth from wherever you are. What you've got going on in life should not determine whether or not you're eating, right? We're all eating. It just depends on what we choose to eat and the choices that we make, okay? So I've gotten up. I've done that. Jan and I are about to go watch the beach, and then if they, they don't know it, but I'm going to have them stretch later, and, um, and then the, the thing I want to talk about today is a happy self-account, okay? A happy self-account. 
Let me say hello. hello. Hey, Marianne. Marianne was planning a holiday on Sunday, but I skipped out on it and decided to hang in there and not have a holiday because I had not lost anything for several days. That was so smart. That was an excellent strategy, Marianne. Staying strong on the program. Then yesterday, still on the program, eating negative three foods. And last night, I gained two pounds. And it's not even possible. I didn't even eat two pounds worth of food having a perfect day again. She's going through what we go through sometimes. If you are eating perfect and the scale is not telling you what you want to see, you've got to know that it's something else that's currently masking what the scale is saying, okay? It does not mean that you've gained fat. We haven't. In fact, we're burning fat. There's just something on the scale that's causing that. So good job, Marianne, and I love that strategy. You did a great job with that. Awesome. Hey, Kathy from Michigan, having a perfect day. Yeah, Becky, it's awesome. We are at the beach, Fort Morgan, Alabama. Even though I'm from Birmingham, we always went to Panama City Beach. So I have only been to one beach in Alabama, and that was Orange Beach, um, you know, about 10 years ago. So it's kind of nice to try out a new beach. I'm in Fort Morgan, Alabama, Belinda. And the other thing, yeah, and Wendy says it could be inflammation from something. That is why that weight gain was hanging on, Marianne. That's true. That's true. All kinds of weird little things can happen. But if you're doing perfect days, see, that's why you want to let your timing chart be what tells you whether or not you're doing a good job. If you've got checks and flames, you're doing a great job. Ignore what that lying scale will tell you, okay? I've got a, a friend that I'm helping right now, and she's not waiting for a month. She just wants to get in there and do it and not be overly obsessed with that. Thank you, Becky. So yesterday, the GPS took us a way that I did not anticipate. It could have taken me a way that did not involve a ferry ride, a car ferry ride. But the GPS took me a way that involved a ferry ride. Well, we decided to stop and go back around the other way, and it was going to take an hour and 57 minutes to go back around the other way. I mean, we're not even that far, but just the way that it was going to go, it was, it, was, it was crazy. And I thought well, why would I do that? Let's just trudge on the way that we're going now. I remitted. I paid the $24 for the car to get on the car ferry. And we got on that car ferry and it took longer and I paid the price. But guess where I ended up? Where I was supposed to be. That is an absolute perfect uh, analogy for Shibboleth. It, I could have gone around the other way, but I just trudged through where I was and I paid the price. So that was me deciding I'm going to go through with this route, no matter what it is, than me jumping off planet Shibboleth to find like a new diet. Uh, uh. I said, no, no, no. We're sticking with this way. And I thought about, and I had even turned around in the car. And then when I realized that's going to, no, no, let's go trudge through right now. And so I got to ride a ferry yesterday in my car, which I've never done in my own personal vehicle. So that was, that was interesting. Yes, let's see. Alicia says, I've been there. I went seven days with no loss and moved up and down some. Finally, I started losing the weight again and haven't stopped. You will get past this bump. That's awesome. Just hang on. Thank you for that, Alicia. Tracy, I got my water in yesterday and was perfect. I forgot to take my water pill and I didn't lose as much as I wanted. 0.2 pounds yesterday. Yes. But we just got, this is what I always say. We, we should be eating like this anyway. No matter what the scale says, we should be eating like this anyway. Hey, Holly, good morning. Good morning. Yes, we did, Belinda. Uh, awesome. Good, Julie. I'm glad that helped. That is wonderful. And good morning, Judy from Stockton. That's right, Becky. Just trust the process. Don't turn around. Don't go another route. Don't jump off and see if there's a cuter guy, you know, on the other side of the road. Don't do that. Okay? You just keep going right there, trudging along. Even if you have something that slows you down, like a ferry ride took an extra 45 minutes. But the other ride was going to take an extra hour and 57 minutes. I said, mm, no, let's go this way. Um, yes, that's right. That's right. Keep doing what you're doing and it will come off. Okay. So as this week, I've talked about 401ks and how we need to, um, we need to save for retirement and our health. Okay. We need to do it with money, but we also need to do it with our health. And then... Yesterday, I talked about a flexible bending account. You know what a flexible spending account. I said we're going to do a flexible bending account. Flexible bending account. Come on. Come on. Let's just get up. Every single day, a stretch. You've got to move around your body, even if it's just in a chair. If you can't get out of that chair, do it right there in the chair. You can lift up. You can hold things. 
okay, you can do that. Start off with 10, 20 seconds, move up to 30 seconds and, 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 and more, okay? You can do it, but you've got to do it. Every single bit that you do for yourself is banking for your future health, okay? This hat is funny. When it gets moist, it starts doing like hangy down and everything. But so today, I'm going to talk about an HSA, a health savings account. So a health savings account is one of those things that you can put money into pre-tax and then you can use it later for health concerns and health needs, doctor visits and stuff like that. Okay, that's a health savings account. And so when I thought about that and us, you know, banking, we're talking banking this week, banking and finances, we're talking about them for our health. Why don't we have a happy self account? Happy self account. That is an HSA that we all need. Happy self account. If you are sitting there right now and you are not happy with the way that you are, you're not happy with yourself, let's get there. Let's do the things that it takes to get there. Some stretching, some moving, something every single day that you are going to do for yourself that's going to help you have that HSA, happy self account. And part of that is having something to focus on. See, what Shibboleth does is it gives you something to focus on that is going to help you. You focus on having no more than three meals a day. You focus on having no more than one snack or one extra if you have a moment of mental weakness. You focus on having tiny freebies if you needed one. Okay, you focus on that. Now, I do want to say focus is work right? It is work, but it's okay. All you have to do is focus enough in the beginning that you then get to that point where it, you no longer have to focus. You have internalized it and it's just what you do. Because before you found Shibboleth, you just did what you did. It was already internalized because it had just been what was created over time. But now that we realize that what was created over time is not the best for our happy self account, we have to start planning. Even if we're planning late, we have to start planning for that happy self account. So let's go ahead and do that focus. Let's do that work. Never say, this is too much trouble. This is too much work because you're worth it. Who are you doing this for? You're doing it for you. You're doing it for your family. More importantly, you're doing it for him. Hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. But we're doing it for the us and the people that are around us and taking care of his temple. You couldn't be doing anything more important in life. I am sorry. Your work, your work, whatever it is that you do for work is not more important than taking care of your body. Because if you aren't there, you can't do your work. You might be a doctor. You might be a NASA scientist. Okay, I'm sorry. That is not more important than you taking care of yourself. Because you won't be there to do those things and help the world out if you don't take care of yourself. So moms, moms, grandparents, dads, we need to be taking care of ourselves because we are showing our kids what to do in the future. Please don't buy your children Oreos and cookies and things like that. Just don't buy them. Just don't buy them. I mean, my kids, if they, if they want to buy it, they have to go buy that themselves. That's not, mom, that's not going in mama's basket. Nope. Not going to do it. So... We've got to try to start to teach them. My son, I'm counting out every morning. He sees me count out 18 mac and cheese, baked bean crunch bonitos and put him in his bag. He doesn't need to lose any weight, but he sees me do this because I am preparing him to do. We're not eating a whole bag. This is what you do. So um, let's have that healthy, happy self account. And Shibboleth will help you get to that happy self account. And it's not going to be focus and work forever. If you do it long enough, it's just what you do. You'll internalize it and it'll just be part of you. And that's what, that's what you want it to be. So let's see who else is talking. Thank you, Belinda. Yeah. Hey, Robin. Robin says, Hey, beach babes. I'm jealous. I'm still in weight loss stall. So great message for me. Good. I'm glad that it helped. I, every morning I, I say, okay, Lord, what do you want me to say? And he tells me, Yes, Jennifer, I want to be rich in my happy self account. I love that. All week long, we're talking about banking and finances, but in the health arena. Okay, so let's let's do that. And the other day, somebody asked one of the mentors, hey, what is Kim talking about? What's her topic at, on class, at class on Saturday? And so they messaged me and asked me what my topic was. I said, I don't know. The Lord hasn't given to me yet. Because there's times where I've spent 
three and four hours on my own preparing for a class and I finish it in 10 minutes. And if I just go and let the Lord use me and talk through me, I, it's a great class. And so I said, I don't know. Y'all just come on, see what's happening. Doesn't really matter. It's going to get to the right person. So but this, I didn't expect that my analogy about the, um, the ferry yesterday was going to turn out like it did just this morning and it, it turned out great. So thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, y'all have a great day. Please go and journal your day. Yesterday, I did have a holiday, um, but I didn't need anything that wasn't approved. So what happened was when I got down here to the beach yesterday, I had some hemp crumbles on the beach. I mean, I ate the whole little container. It's small, but it's still not the portion. And then when I went in last night, they had made the basil lime chicken and green beans and the garlic cheddar biscuits with card quick. So that's what we had while, and I did the fast track and then we all came out and watched Becky and Andrea being interviewed by Travis, all sitting around the table, eating a Shibboleth approved meal. So y'all enjoy this, enjoy Shibboleth, bring some friends along with you that you can do it and have that happy self account. If you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory. Bye everybody.